Hi, I am Nas. Hello. That's just gonna be how I start my videos now. Hi, I am Nas. Hello. <laughs> no, it's more like Alexi. Anyway. All right, enough of Alexi. I need to end that. Um, okay, so I've been waiting for this. Uh, I got a trade box back. This bad boy is from my homeboy, good friend, Derek. Oh, hey there, how's it going? Um, Nas here. <coughs> I've been waiting for this package for a while. It is a package from Derek. You guys might know him better as Honest Diecast. He's very honest, a very honest fella. Very diecasty too. He likes that metal and how it's cast in dies, you know? I said stuff. Okay, so <laughs> I got a box from Derek. Um, been waiting for this. Uh, very excited about uh, what's all in here because I don't really remember uh, from our back and forth conversation uh, on what I actually wanted and what he actually thought I wanted and what he put in here. Uh, I, whatever it is, I'll be happy. All I can say is there might be some Dobsons, <laughs> but uh, to to kind of make this story uh, not as long, I'm gonna open this, you know, away from myself. <clears throat> Apparently, that's what we do. Um, so, even though it's way more awkward and I feel like it's more dangerous than like doing this, so it's not really towards me; it's that way. So it's still away. This way is kind of like weird. So yeah. My two cents about <laughs> cutting away from yourself. I think uh, for kids and younger generations, this is important to cut that way. But if you're so young that you don't understand that you might hurt yourself, maybe you shouldn't be handling sharp objects. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. If you're an old dude like me or older, like 40 or older, you know, like, uh, cut any way you want, man. If you cut yourself, you're just stupid. <laughs> so uh, there's my honest opinion. So yeah, I just love this knife, man. It's so cool. I like making you guys nervous with it. Like, when I'm talking to you and I'm just like, Alright guys, how's it going? Um... <laughs> okay. Let me tell you the story. All about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I gave a call to Derek and uh, I said, Hey, listen right there. I'd like to make a trade box. Let's get it done here. I lost it in the end. But you know it. Okay, so I went to ToyCon, New Jersey. Um, I was there with my friends. Um, <clears throat> one of my good friends, Noah, uh, had a box. It was the factory sealed box. Uh, it was box three of four, I believe. And uh, he got lucky and got it on um, Walmart, whatever, dot com or whatever, however you get it. Um, <laughs> so um, I was selling my art and uh, my custom Hot Wheels at ToyCon, New Jersey, the fall one. So uh apparently uh on the day that i wasn't there or maybe i showed up a little late oh yeah i was only there sunday he was there saturday and sunday so on saturday he had that box out like on in the hallway where people walk in front of his table you know and uh some young kid with his dad just walked up and you know he saw this the factory seal and he just went like this and broke the seal <laughs> So, naturally, Noah, my boy, couldn't do anything about it. I mean, what are you going to do? You can't yell at a kid, and you can't really yell at his dad in front of whatever. Uh, I guess uh, they walked away and uh, nothing. The father didn't offer any kind of anything. I don't even think he apologized, as far as I know. So, this is where Noah's loss becomes my gain. <laughs> so, well, this is also where Noah's loss becomes my gain, which becomes Derek's gain. So... Um, as you guys know, I collect things out of box. I do have a couple of things on card that I preserve that I really like, you know, like that double Dotson set right there. Oh man, I got a phone call. Hold on guys. A lot of stuff's happening. So, um, mm, what was that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was telling you the story of how my boy Noah got his, uh, set all messed up. He was going to try to sell it for a certain amount. Um, I got there and he's like, no one was trying to buy it either. There wasn't too many Hot Wheels guys there, only like a couple of uh, scalpers and they weren't going for that price. So, 
Uh, I offered him a certain amount where that I was comfortable with, and uh, he accepted it. And Noah, if you're watching, thank you, bro. Uh, you're amazing. Uh, he also he hooked me up with a bunch of stuff in the past as well. Like never asks for anything back. Just just a good dude, man. So I appreciate you. Ugh, so how this uh, turned into me not keeping them. I kept maybe 10 of the factory sealed cars. None of them were supers. Uh, one of them was a super, I'll tell you that in a minute. Uh, and uh, all the other ones, there was all the Zamex, all the treasure hunts and supers. All of those went to Derek and a whole bunch of other ones that he wanted. Plus a whole bunch of other ones that I just gave to him because he appreciates it. And uh, I wouldn't appreciate them as much. So I'm pretty sure he got a whole bunch that he's going to share with uh, our mutual homeboy, uh, Dotson Man uh, something or other. Dotson Man Plastic, Dotson Man Pop, Funko Pops, Dotson Funko Man. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, trying to spread spread the love, man. So uh, me and Derek started talking. I'm like, hey, Derek, you know, I got this thing. I know you love your supers, man. So how about I send you some of my supers from this case? Uh, because they have the factory sealed sticker on them and you send me back your supers preferably out of already opened uh for me to uh put in my case because like i don't care about those stickers i'm not that kind of a collector so even though i kept a couple <laughs> but derek as you guys know he's like the super king he finds them supers i believe he found every single one this year except for that shelby cobra so hopefully he'll find that uh, good luck, man. So yeah, uh, I started talking to him. I'm like, Derek, let's do this. He's like, yeah, man, let's do it. So we started talking and we came to uh, a, a gentleman's agreement on, uh, you know, what we're going to trade for. And uh, I didn't even know the so, so, some things he had. I had no idea he had those to even offer for trade. Like, uh, yeah, anyway, I, I'm still not sure what's all in here. I think I only know about, like, there's one super in there. I think the HKS Civic. Um and uh, I also sent him a Mercury. I didn't want that back because I have it already. So I think we, he gave me like a bunch of other things to kind of compensate, you know, for the trade. So uh, yeah, uh, all I know is I was super excited when we were talking because I'm like, I want that. I'd rather have those than a super. <laughs> like, so it's all good. So without further ado, that's that's what happened with that trade. Uh, then a whole bunch of other ones I got rid of at the flea market, like you know the fantasy cars that no one would even want, even if it does say that they're factory sealed. Like, what ifs? So yeah. So let's. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, this. Uh, he uses these boxes at work. I know that because I watch his videos. Watch your videos, Derek. So Derek is a master packer, from what they say. <laughs> You're a good packer, Derek. Uh, but yeah, I even watched his uh, video about like packing stuff. So he, I got a couple of good ideas from him as well. But I freaking double boxed this thing. It was crazy. But anyway, I'll do this Mark style. Uh, I'm already seeing things I like seeing. <laughs> All right, here's the one that I was telling you about. And that's not fair, man. I, I was almost like asking him to just send me an open one because now I have to get this one out of its package. And I know a bunch of you are probably saying, hey, Nas, I'll send you my opened one. Send me this. I'm sorry, this one's from Derek. That's kind of a, a big part of the trade is when I trade with people, I actually want it from that person, not because of what it is exactly. But because, like, every time I see this, I'll remember this trade. I'll remember my time with Derek, you know. I'll remember our, you know, live streams. And uh, hopefully in the future we'll actually uh, meet up in, re in, in real person For realsies, as they say. And, uh, you know, hang out and really annoy each other and never see each other again after that. That's probably what's going to happen. But there's number one from the box of the trade. By the way, if you guys want to go see... Derek made a video of the unboxing, so uh, if you want to see what all he's got, check it out. Hey, squirrels, keep it down! <sighs> I ran over a squirrel once back in the day. So I saw saw someone hit the squirrel, right? With their car, like it got into the wheel and it looked weird. So it was kind of like on the side of the road and I felt bad and I'm like, I should just run it over again because it's suffering. It's like laying there like... Uh, uh, I ran it over and it wasn't dead yet and uh, that was 
I just totally bummed out all of you. Um, but anyway, ever since that day, I never do anything. If I see any kind of animal, even if they got hit, I'll pull over. I'll try to help it. I'll try to freaking take it to somewhere where they can save it. Um, yeah, um, that that was messed up. I know a lot of people don't care. Some of you are probably laughing. Some of you probably hunt squirrels to eat them. You know, some of you are like that. <laughs> but uh, I care about life. It doesn't matter how small or big. Like, I'll even put... Um, spiders into a cup and throw it outside or take it to the basement or something or the attic but uh, I have one spider up there I call him Gary he's been up there for about two months now so that's Gary man he sits there he uh, catches flies or fruit flies and it's a win-win we have an agreement right Gary all right cool I hope he's not a recluse like me I'm a recluse okay <laughs> so hey you're watching nostalgic this is what you get Lion face? Ah, lemon face. Mm. Yeah. So this was one of the trades that uh, we agreed uh, we agreed upon. Words. Uh, what happened with this was I actually used to have this back in the day. This was one of the first Dotsons I picked up when I got into um, premium Hot Wheels collecting and really fell in love with Dotsons. And uh, side note, I fell in love with Dotsons. I always liked the Datsuns, especially 510s, uh, especially 510 wagons. But uh, these I always really enjoyed, always liked. Uh, they're right up there on the same level as uh, BMW 2002s. I really love the boxy design of these. Uh, it's just beautiful, man. One day I'll, I'll rock one of these. But <sighs> when I first started collecting these again uh, in premium form, I have a bunch of other Datsuns, but... Um, that's when I actually met Mark because, um, well, I found out about Mark's YouTube channel. Um, I was just looking for Dotsons. I'm like, Dotson, man. Diecast. Like, what's up with that? Ooh, wee. What up with this? What up with that? Ooh, okay. Don't get me started. So, yeah. It's funny that, uh, I actually customized that car when I started powder coating things. That's in someone's house. I don't know who they bought that custom a long time ago. So Derek, when he was showing me what he had available, he showed me this and I I was like, me want, me put, you put box, me take later. That's how I talked to him. And he went, good job, Nas. And I was like, yay. Okay, I'm done with that. I actually, from this series, I have the Alfa Romeo Giulia. And I have the BMW 2002 naturally. So I have those. Uh, really have no need for the other ones. Uh, although that Porsche kind of looks nice. But no, no, no. I'm good. <laughs> I need to watch what I say that I like. Because some of you are freaking way too nice and you just send me stuff. Which I'm just like, ah. I mean, it's kind of hard because I'm like, I want it. But I'm like, eh, it's okay. I, I can get it myself. I'm a grown-ass man. That felt like there was something in that. No, nah, just just love, just love from Derek. All wrapped up. Okay. Uh, so so far we have these two. Uh, stay tuned till the end. I'll probably uh, pop them open and show them to you. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna close that. <laughs> no spoilers for me. I'm kind of trying to do a reaction video. Like oh wow wow. <laughs> Blood. Okay. This is a 71 Datsun Bluebird 510 wagon. Bluebird? What the hell? What the heck is a bluebird? I don't know. Can we? We can. Thank you. This is another one of those things. So, <sighs> you guys know, like, I'm trying not to collect main lines, but there's exceptions. Mustangs, there's only so many premiums you can get. And uh, Datsuns, so a lot of different Datsuns, not not just 510s. Um, but yeah, like a lot of my favorite, most favorite um, castings, I'll, you know, get them in regular. <sighs> so, yeah. This is definitely one of the ones I really wanted. Um, I'll have to check on the variations on these, on these before I crack them open. Because uh, I've been watching Lamley, uh, Lamley's channel. And he has a whole video about Datsuns where he shows, like, all the different ones. And holy moly, man. But yeah, I love the 71. 71. 
Next one is, let me guess, 71 Dotson Blueberg? Five Pan Wagon? Did I need to look to say that, to read it? Did I not know it was a five pan wagon? Find out. Stick around. I did know. Look at this. This is just glorious, man. And this is that time where I'm just... I opened them, man. And it's just rough because... Uh, it just It's just rough. It's one of those struggles. I'm sure even those of you who are carded collectors, you also struggle because you're like... Well, I collect carded, you know, but I would really like to take it out and, like, hold it and, you know, taste it, smell it, you know, throw it, whatever, you know, put it on a track, ruin it, make it rust, or on a case, in my case, put it in a case. So, yeah, I, I don't know, Derek, uh, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this might be, a, uh, you know, very special. They're all freaking special. All right, next card. Okay, cool. This was another one of those trades, like I told you guys. So for this ID, I asked to, uh, since he got the factory uh, sticker on there, factory seal sticker, I I still wanted this ID. I never had this. You know, there's, you know, if Derek didn't want any of this trade, I would have just opened them up and put them in my case. But uh, yeah, I was looking for this when it was out. I was really trying to find one. And uh, yeah, thank you, Derek. There it is. And he has himself a nice, fresh one um, with the sticker on it. So, yeah. Next. Oh, yeah. Okay. I need to... It's this one. L let me read what this is. 71 Dotson Blue Air Bird 510 Wagon. I think I read that good. So, um, boom, boom, boom. Look at this. So when I told Derek, like, oh, yeah, I uh, I was like, I need that one with the 71 on it. I didn't realize they pretty much all have 71 on it if it's not Kaido House. And um, he's like, oh, right, right. So this one, I was actually asking about this one, you know, the very prominent 71 because it's premium and all that. And he sends me this picture, and that's how I ended up getting all of these um, main lines, because he's like, well, there's all these amazing main lines of the Datsun. You sure? I was like, oh. So I was like biting my tongue. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I, I didn't know they existed, man. <laughs> and this dude freaking hooked me up. So here's, a, uh, let me show you why this particular wagon is amazing. Uh, hopefully I can find it in time. Oh, I can just turn this off and make it instant. Haha! <laughs> okay, that took way longer than I wanted it to. Good thing you guys, you know, magic of iPhone movie. And you... I don't have an iPhone. That's a Galaxy. It's Galaxy S20. S2000. So, uh, I just got this recently in another box. So, I don't know if you can tell the similarities. Um, yeah, this is, uh, just cool. That's why when Derek said he has this, I was like, <gasps> um, oh, Derek's text, I mean, Mark is texting me. Mark, are you sensing me talking about Dotsons? <laughs> I'll have to uh, text you back. But yeah, I got this from my, uh, my man in the UK. It was Robert and, uh, I almost said Maggie and Monica. Yeah, Rob and Monica, there you go. So he wrote a letter on the back of that, which is awesome, because I can't trade this away, or a certain Dotson man can't be like, hey, I want that, and I'll be like, I can't, man, it's sentimental. I can't, sorry, sorry, brah. I can Xerox it for you. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, how cool is that? So that's from Robert. Shout out to you, my man. Uh, Robert and Monica, sorry. Uh, they just sent me an ama me and Maggie. They sent us an amazing care package with some amazing goodies in there. So just wanted to share that because, you know, because of this. Man, Mark's really blowing me up. Hold on a second. I gotta see what's going on. Okay, that got situated. Sorry, we were just uh, dealing with somebody. Like someone's asking me for my address, but he's not saying if he wants to send anything to me or whatever. He's just like. Yo, send me your address. I'm like, no. <laughs> like, what the f okay. 
Sure thing. Uh, send you my address. Wait, what the fun bananas? <sighs> okay, it's guys. Those of you who are like YouTubers and those of you who are normal people, it gets weird when you know you put some of your life out on YouTube and like. Some people get a hold of your address, even though I don't give out my personal address. I have an address that um, my friend is like, uh, how can I say this? He's renting out a space from a lady um, so that he can uh, like run his business out of a room in her house. So um, is it her room or a garage? I don't know. I don't know. He gives me my stuff when he gets enough. He's like, hey, Nas, I got your stuff at the old lady's house. Hey Nas, it's Eddie. I brought your boxes. The Godfather. <laughs> Alright, uh, sorry. A lot of side weighing. You guys know how I roll. I just, it just goes and goes. But, um, okay. So yeah. Rob and Monica really sparked my thing. That's why I got the poster. That's why, like, Derek showed this to me. I was like, awesome, awesomeness. So, uh, yeah. Um, they're all getting open though. I'm gonna have uh, a case just for Dotsons. So that's, I can't wait for that to happen. I actually went to, uh, is it onestopdiecast.com or whatever? I don't know. Hit me up, one stop. A little sponsorship here. But uh, maybe they won't sponsor me because I'm about to freaking complain. <laughs> uh, well, uh, it's understandable right now because of the ships and stuff. But uh, they have the, the Hot Wheels, you know, uh, display case for 50 cars, I believe. And uh, it they usually come with an exclusive car. Exclusive premium car. And uh, I ordered one from them, like, two months ago, maybe? Uh, it's the one that comes with the Datsun 510, the yellow and black one. So uh, I'm pretty sure they're still listed. So if you guys want to go get them and wait a couple of months, <laughs> go for it. But uh, yeah, so... And also I ordered one of the Kaido house, um, not this one, but the next batch he made with the red color, um, the racing scheme that he collaborated with the, uh, I don't remember the name of him. Uh, Mark, if you're watching this, chime in, like tell me what the next, the racer that they, <sighs> words. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I ordered one of those, uh, version one, I think, I don't remember. And uh, that and the case are right now, when I go and check my checkout box, I already paid for it, um, they're on back order. And I'm like, well, why don't you just send me the Datsun, you know, the, the Kaido House one. I'm sure that's not on back order. Everyone's getting theirs. I guess they're trying to send everything together. But uh, I don't know when that case is going to come. But whenever that case comes, I'll be able to pop open some of my... Uh, storage cases and fill that up and uh, rearrange this whole setup I have here so that I can look at these cars uh, better. All right, back to uh, back to Derek's trade box. Um, okay, so I sent him, again, I sent him the ID with the, you know, uh, factory sealed sticker and um, there it is. Uh, he sent me one back. So I'll be able to pop this open as well and put it with my um, premiums collection because I kind of look at ID cards as premiums, especially these Chase ones. I know if I open this, it won't be a Chase. And also, I believe they didn't make this in a box. So it's only on card. I think Derek said that. So I don't know. I might hold off and uh, keep this one on card. Uh, it's not my favorite porch, you know. What's next? Okay, that's something. Oh yeah. This is another one of those that I really wanted. So uh, Derek hooked me up with this Japan Historics. Absolutely love this casting, obviously. But uh, the livery on this is great. The deco. But yeah, this casting with the separate grill. The grill is part of the base. Unlike a lot of the newer ones where it's uh, molded in <clears throat> with the body. But uh, yeah, again, the card on this is fantastic and it's such a freaking hard thing to decide. And this was the 50th anniversary too. I don't know, it looks so good. The, the art just looks great. Wait, I hope there's like maybe a... 
the car, the blister may be broken somewhere. That would be fantastic. Ugh. No, it's not broken. Damn it, Derek. Why do you take care of your collection so well? <laughs> uh, it'll probably come out either way. Um, it just, I can't keep hanging these up on the wall or hold on to them like this because I want to look at them. I want to hold it in my hand. I'm going to open it right here at the end. So stick around. And last but not least, this was the main thing that I really wanted, guys. And uh, Derek, thank you for packing these in proper order so that this ended up being the last one. Uh, let's see. We've got another tube here. So, yeah. Hey, Derek, even though everything came perfect, I'll have to say that I spent a little more time packing your cars. <laughs> no, this was great, man. This is fantastic. Derek, I'm just kidding, dude. I hope you're not, like... Explosive deleted! Bleep 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 bleep! You ungrate! <laughs> no, no. Thank you so much. Okay, so this. The case behind me, it is filled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven and a half rows from bottom up are nothing but premium Fast and the Furious cars. So, this one, I really want it but every time I would go on eBay or whatever this car is like 30 and up and I'm like nah man nah <laughs> so I, I tried to be patient and finally it came around and you know who else but uh one of my uh really good friends Derek my online buddies my digi friends <laughs> we'll meet soon man we'll make that official friendship for realsies where we'll do hands touching hands Touching me, touching you. This is creepy. <laughs> uh, did I even show this yet? I did not. This one. It's the Honda Civic EG. This is a. Uh... Ooh, I actually still need the 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 white Subaru, little nobody's car. I still don't have that one, and I think I still need this. Nissan Silvia. I don't think I have that either. So that's crazy. I really missed out on this set. Yeah, I do have the Nissan 240SX and the Mazda RX-7, of course. But uh, yeah, this thing, I've been freaking, like, just looking every toy show. Toy shows are ridiculous, guys. If you go to, like, toy shows, they really, really, really um, abuse you with their prices. And uh, it's kind of messed up. But it is what it is. If people buy it, people buy it. So, Derek, thank you, man. I didn't have to, like, have a headache of going to whatever. And uh, hopefully all the stuff I sent you, hopefully that, you know, compensated for a lot of these. Because, uh, I don't know, I'm pretty sure you might not have doubles of all of these. You might have made some sacrifices. I don't know. I hope you had doubles. I hope you didn't have to make too many sacrifices. Uh, all right, so... We'll open these in one second, but I wanted to, uh, since uh, Derek likes to put all the package videos together, um, I'll do the same. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. It's just because this is uh, uh, like in an envelope. This came in an envelope. Uh, this is from Jeff. Uh, let's say Jeff G. I don't know if he wants me to give you his full name, but uh, he is a customizer. Please stop. Get off my screen. <laughs> I'm video, videotaping. So, uh, yeah. So, Jeff uh, contacted me. I think he even contacted uh, Derek and uh, Mark and maybe a couple others. He also makes custom water slide decals. And uh, where'd this come from? This came from Canada. That's right. Ontario. I used to live there. In Ontario. In Mississauga. That's where I used to dwell. But anyway... Uh, Nas and Maggie make something fun and enjoy Jeff so thank you bro let me show you guys um, I opened it obviously because I was like what's in there <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, yeah so Jeff dude let me get this camera uh, off of here so I can show it to you okay so um, look at that he made Nas house oh my god oh I'm gonna make some awesome cuss dude I am gonna get back to you Jeff and I'm gonna order a whole bunch of these and I'm gonna pay you for them don't pay attention to my nasty nail right there that's disgusting gotta cut that no no I'm, no! I'm dropping I'm dropping little Nas's <laughs>
<laughs> That's what I call, uh, you know, when I go through the little ladies' room. I'm dropping little noses. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's another one. That's so little. Oh my god. I could do like nail art with these. So yeah, you got like uh you got Nas house, kind of like Kaido house, which is awesome. Then you have like a 80s. Oh wait, I can zoom in. Then I have like that 80s looking Nas, <laughs> nostalgic. Uh, 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 oh yeah, my uh, Instagram, nostalgic TV. And how cool is that? Shelby Street Diecast. Dude. Oh my gosh, Jeff. These are, these are just, oh my gosh. They're just amazing. There we go. That's the bottom. That's why I'm having so much. No, it's not the bottom. <laughs> why is every top and bottom loose? Oh, cool. Oh, my God. That says Maggie House. Oh, man. Oh, Broseph. This is amazing. <laughs> and you made actual Kaido House ones, too. That's great, man. Oh, my gosh. Shelby Street Dyke. This is so freaking amazing. Oh, my God. Uh, Jeff, I need your, um, uh, hopefully you'll watch this and um, leave a comment or something under this video because I really want to shout you out better. I want to like, um, you know, direct people to you if they want any of these uh, made for them or something because that's freaking great, dude. That's fantastic. Oh man, I am so freaking blessed, guys. Like, got all this stuff from Derek and then I got this just straight up gift from my man Jeff. <laughs> So yeah, wow. Anyway, thank you, Jeff. The, oh, can't show ah, can't show that address. But anyway, thank you for those stickers, Jeff. I am gonna make some customs. I'm actually gonna oh hold on. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna make customs out of. Uh, I'm gonna probably not make too many more uh, powder coat cars. Uh, I kind of miss using paint, man. I kind of miss that whole work process and being able to have a wider selection of colors because powder coats are you're very limited to what's there and uh, the place I work at um, that powder shop um, yeah they're, they're kind of limited with things that their customers get so they only have I don't know I mean there's still there's a lot of colors there don't get me wrong they have a ton of colors I mean check out these customs I these are my customs that I'm not selling, that I made for myself. Uh, some of them still need wheel swaps, like this little dude. I love this little car, man. I did the orange, uh, illusion orange, but uh, I did I did um, a matte clear coat instead of a glossy one. So to compare that, this would be the glossy, which obviously is freaking awesome. But uh, oh, I got this casting actually from uh, Dotson Man Diecast. <laughs> He sent it to me, it was black, and uh, had no wheels, and uh, I did a little wheel swap. I still need to do chrome on the pipes, but I did that in uh, Illusion Orange as well. So as you can see, there's a good selection of colors, but um, at the same time, not really. <laughs> there's a lot more. There's purples and greens and all, like neon colors, all sorts of stuff, you know, but uh, hey, Derek, I'm sure you're like, hey, 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 Nas, what's that? What's that, Nas? Oh, you know it. You know what that is. That's my piggy. <laughs> Made my own piggy. After Derek's wife uh, hooked him up with one uh, pink one like that, I was like, I have pink powder. <laughs> and I made that. Okay, enough of that. All right, back to, uh, back to the table here. Ah, people are still freaking texting me. Okay, all right, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. All right, so again, Jeff, thank you. Uh... Oh yeah, so I was just basically saying I really want to do paint again. I have some uh, rattle cans. I'm going to do it the right way. Lysol. That's really weird. Anyway, go to uh, Honest Diecast. He has tutorials. He gives you tips on how to uh, customize, how to make axles, all sorts of uh, handy good advice. So go to his channel. Also, he finds super treasure hunts all the freaking time. He's like a super treasure hunt whisperer. He's like, where are you? Super treasure hunts. Oh, here we go. Two right there. Um, oh, look. I found five more treasure hunts. I'm Derek. Oh, wow. Look at that. I found five more. No, he, he knows what he's doing. You guys can learn a lot from him. So uh, especially you younger or um, new to the collecting thing, go to Derek's channel. He'll teach you a lot. I have to shout him out, man. 
we're homies and we have to take care of each other. So yeah, so let's uh, rip into these and um, show you what's going on. Uh, obviously this is coming out. My finger is not a knife. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Look how freaking lovely that is. The white wheels really make it look good. Like everything pops. It's like a very festive car, man. I love it. Yeah, it's going right there in the case. Dotson. All right. Um, even though this is rough, um, yeah, I'm going to open it just because it's going to drive me nuts. And, uh, uh, I'm still thinking about it, but, you know, if I do this, that's gonna help me make the choice. And it did, so there we go. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. Goodbye, wasted paper. I'll recycle it, don't worry. Ooh, am I happy I freaking opened this. Oh my god, the paint on this is amazing! Got a roll cage in there. The wheels are fantastic. Metal base. Beautiful stripe across the roof. It's like a really beautiful metallic. Why is my camera filming freaking five times at a time? Uh, two minutes at a time. This is weird. All right. So there you go. Silver Dotson. Beautiful uh, Dotson livery right there on the door. This is great, man. Man, between, like, Mark and Derek, <laughs> my Dotson collection is growing quick, man. I am freaking so happy about that. It's fantastic. All right, Fast and the Furious, man. Oh, it's $40 on eBay. It's not from Derek, is it? Yeah, look at that. That is joining the ranks of the Fast and the Furious collection, which I am so proud of. Fast and the Furious collection is what got me started again in collecting Hot Wheels, especially premiums. And uh, this thing is freaking great. I'm so happy about this car. It says VTEC on it. Alexi, back away. It's not your VTEC. What Nas? I want to see it. Hey! Stupid Russians. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh man, Nas, no, it's the Chase ID, bruh. It sure was. Look at that. The blue is fantastic. It's Fant Four Stick. The worst Fantastic Four movie ever. Fant Four Stick. But yeah. Love that freaking blue. It's so beautiful. This is honestly, I maybe have two other Camaros in my collection. Don't get me wrong, I love Camaros, but I'm a Mustang guy, so... Uh, eh. But this one... Uh, this is gonna definitely freaking be great. Sorry, my phone keeps turning off. That's why it's weird. Hopefully I'll cut all that out. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Cool. Who's next? Who's next? All right, the ID can stay in there. All right. This bad boy is getting ripped open. Faux show. Faux show. So cool, cool, cool. It's rough. It's rough, man. It ain't easy being Nas. I know what you're thinking. That don't rhyme those two words. There you go. Surf Patrol with the red rims, man. I know there's a couple of variations again. I don't know. Hopefully I didn't just open a $200 variation. But even if I did, I wouldn't care because I wouldn't be trying to sell it. These are memories. That's what I'm collecting, guys. I remember every car and who I got it from. I'm like the rain man. Yeah, def definitely from Derek. Yeah, definitely Derek. Yeah. This one's, uh, this one's tough, you know? 
because of ooh, I almost dropped it. It would have made it a lot not tougher. Because of this and because of this, um, I'm kind of thinking of putting this into a shadow box, you know, and maybe having another something there. I don't know, but um, forgive me, guys. I'm not gonna open this one yet, just because of this. So these are just it's just kind of you understand right plus what do you care <laughs> it's like i don't care Nas. open whatever the hell you want it's yours why would i you know care a lot of you do though it's strange sometimes how could you do that how could you do that Nas? <clears throat> i don't know All right, boom boom um uh, there you go i don't know why i'm showing it to you again but that one kind of stunned a little bit, but nah, look at that shiny, beautiful, crispy, new, oh man, yeah, and that's the thing, man, like, see, it, the roofs get scuffed up in the blister, which kind of ticks me off, it's not bad, I'm just, you know, that's why I open them, man, this is beautiful. Love the Junamai Zero. All right, and uh, last but not least, I don't know why he put this in the protector. <laughs> but you know what I'm gonna put into that protector, right? I want one of these. Derek's like, no, no why? No, man. <laughs> I can hear it's just showed up. Hey man, why 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 take that out of the protector and put that in there? That's come on man, that's not cool. That, that's this is what... okay. So apparently I ran out of a uh, space on my memory card because I keep forgetting to delete all videos, and I've been recording in 4K lately because I'm indoors and I'm doing close-ups, you know. So anyway, hey cheap ass bricks is freaking texting me too. Probably found some more Hot Wheels. <laughs> What I was doing uh, previously is putting this in here, and uh, I was trying to do my best Hewitt uh, impression, but I think I was doing more of a Mark doing an impression of Hewitt's, which is different. <laughs> so yeah, I'm putting that in here um, just to preserve that because it's uh, a little more special. So yeah, um, this pristine Super Treasure Hunt which uh, I don't know if Derek actually found this one personally or if this is something that, um, you know, he got in a trade maybe. I know he found a few of these, so... But yeah, Derek got the one with the factory sealed sticker and I wanted to open it, so... I'm gonna go ahead and open it! I can't close it up because I'm gonna rip it. I already taught you guys how to um, open these without damaging them. Just use a little... Um, nail polish remover, a little dab, 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 a dab, a dab, a dab, a, let it soak in, then it just boop and opens up. I'm not doing that in this case because I no longer care for saving the cards. So yeah, the treasure hut symbol on there. I don't know. Is this a fake? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah smell it there she is guys there's that super i was actually looking for this one when it was out never found one found a whole lot of other ones never this one though so i'm very happy derek thanks for trading them up i'm sure you're happy <laughs> you got another variation in your super treasure hunt collection and i got another beautiful super to go into my display behind me so um yeah wow so the idea i'm not opening up yet because uh it might be more significant uh we'll see how that goes it's also a porsche from derek and we all know derek is a porsche file so um that doesn't sound good but you know um yeah so he loves porsches is what i'm saying oh man so i got quite a few cars here in in our uh, trade box Derek, thanks a lot for giving me these. Um, I'm sure some of these are crazy expensive. Not even going to look them up. Um, I don't care. So uh, right now I need to go and clean up that mess on the floor. 
<clears throat> let me show you what I got here. What alls I got here. All right. There we go. So yeah, um, really happy with this. I'm really hot. I need to open the windows in this freaking room. I've got stuffy in here with me talking. Just did a live stream uh, yesterday on uh, Dotson Man Diecast channel. It was me, uh, Dotson. Uh, it was me, Mark, and Derek. So all three of us, we just talked for like three and a half hours, and then maybe another twenty minutes after we were done, we just hung out and kept talking. So. That was an experience, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go, guys. There's my haul. And uh, yeah, there's my uh, Fast and Furious collection. That's me. As you can see, it uh, goes up to about here. Well, it's halfway here as well. So it stops right there. So from there down is all Fast and the Furious cars in premium. I'm very happy about that. So yeah, there you go. And these are the Datsuns I have so far. I have uh, some more on the way. Uh, this one uh, Mark gave me. I did a little wheel swap on that. I like it. Gold wheels. And uh, yeah, so those three I'm going to take out and put the Datsuns I got from Derek in there. The ones on top there I have are customs that I get from people in trades or people just send me stuff. So, uh, I absolutely love this collection, and that's the point, right? Everything up there are supers. There's the factory sealed one that's no longer sealed. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, those are my supers up there. Found pretty much all of them myself, except maybe two or three. So, uh, that's how it goes. But, yeah, there you go, guys. That's some of my collection there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for uh, bearing with me for this I had a whole bunch of technical difficulties. I had like a whole bunch of people calling me and texting me, but we pulled it through. You hung in there with me. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of you, especially right there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. What's up, man? Proud of you. Uh, but yeah, you guys uh, collect Datsuns, Mustangs? What do you guys collect? Let me know. Uh, how many of you are subscribed to uh, Datsun Man Diecast or Honest Diecast? Are you guys subscribed to those guys? If you're not, you should probably go subscribe because they're awesome dudes, man. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, also don't forget about Jeff. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, find his, uh, handle or whatnot. We got in touch a while ago and he, he said he was sending this to me. So I don't remember what his, um, handle is off the top of my head. So I'm sorry. Um, I love you though, man. I want, I want that handle so I can get in touch with you so I can order a whole bunch more, um, of those, uh, water slide decals because I want more. So yeah, I'm going to send you my Canadian dollars. Okay. <laughs> so sorry sorry i'm not i don't mean to patronize you um all right everyone thank you for watching uh my name's naz this was me unboxing stuff from derek from honest diecast so go check them out uh, check them out before you're out of time man gotta go back in time peace and love live long and prosper and remember don't be assholes <laughs>